I do this for you, Morimoto. So now, have you seen these in person yet? No, I have not. These are the old and new headlights. <laughs> this my, this my shit. Old teller, you're not my bitch. This my, this my shit. Old teller, get off my dick. Digi dash, nitro gas. Time is passing. Quick, 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 quick. I just want tonight to last. Life go fast. It tick, 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 tick. Finally, that's only been there for like I knew three, you were about three to just weeks, bro. Be so happy about you got that. A knife? I do have a knife. We were just discussing your car, saying how it looks way too stock. And it, and it is too stock, I agree. But we have some awesome new Morimoto headlights for a 2018 Mustang. And they're different from all the other Morimoto headlights that you guys have seen around here. Wow, some original Mustang content. That is some so different headlights. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, before I pull these out, I will have to say, huge thank you to the retrofit source for providing these and it's gonna be a great start for what we have coming with that thing Ooh. they're a little bit different oh. on, closer. here all right thanks for the gift bro i'll see you later wow those won't even fit on your car watch me actually i like these because they, they retain the tri-beam yeah mm -hmm. my whole thing is i like the tri-beam really Yes. If you guys decide that you want to get some headlights like this, use code Zorby at checkout and you can get free upgraded ground shipping, which means it will get to your door faster and safer. The biggest thing is safer because it would suck for these to break because they're not cheap. Anyways, let's get to installing. Now, this is something exciting. I have not gotten a film in this place yet other than just introducing it. So this is definitely like, this is awesome. Anyways. Let's put some headlights on a car. Oh, that is a ton of room. Hell yeah. Wow, I could probably fit. I think I did the math. We could probably scoot Nick's car back a little bit and we can fit a whole car right here and then another car right here and another car where the Z is and another car where the Mustang is potentially and then another one this way. Um, I don't know how well that'd work, but we can probably get like five cars in here, but even with just three cars, it's pretty great just having this much space. So anyways, if you guys haven't seen the video of me actually introducing the new shop space, I'm trying to come up with a name for this. I still got a lot of decorations to put up. All I've done for now is pretty much just put away a lot of old parts up there. We got our parts room, two shelves with some, I don't know, kind of relevant stuff. And then we got like a nice little living space, sort of. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Let's go ahead and start getting to these headlights. God damn, why is this hood so heavy? Yo. Look at all the cars you can fit in. I know, we have so much space. I have decided that we are actually gonna put the car on jack stands, not rhino ramps, because I wanna take the wheels off. There's some clips for the fender well that you gotta take out. And honestly, it'll probably just be easier if we can get it in the air and take the wheels off. You like that? I like it a lot. Make sure that whenever you're jacking your car up, you hit your front bumper as much as possible too. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's about as high as we can get it. My jack stands hey, up. Have you seen, seen Dogecoin today? Yep, <laughs> I have. And there we go. Ah, it's one wheel off. Ah, these wheels need to be cleaned. I don't know exactly how to do this, but I'm just gonna take some guesses and see if I can figure it out. I know that there's some bolts underneath this plastic right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. There's a bunch of little push pins. So uh, you can fight with those and hopefully get them out. There we go. Ah, so now we got some bolts exposed and now we got a lot of bolts to get out. I think these are actually sevens. I don't, or maybe eights. I don't remember, I think. There were some weird size last time. Ah, oh, they're an eight. Good shit. I am speed. Oh no, it's these. I got like some little sixes. I'm gonna get those small ones out first. I think it's a five or five and a half. Five and a half, is that it? Yep. <laughs> a five and a half. Oh, these are like wood screws. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like this. Ah, it's hot. Ah, top is loose. 
This is a this is a pretty flexible bumper. That's weird. Anyways, we gotta get the uh, now I think the fender wells pop out these things. That one for sure. That for sure. What is this? That's gotta get popped out. <laughs> I don't know. I think it just pops out. I don't know. Take this one out first. Yeah, I'll get these. I need a flathead probably. I was gonna say I've always. Yeah, I'm gonna need a flathead. This one. Maybe. I don't think we had to take that one out, but I mean, it might make it easier. All right, I'll just leave that one halfway in for now. Take that out. Oh. Where's it's that? It's right there. Damn, it's like tucked up under the edge of the fender. Why does it got to do that? Come on. I'm about to just take this whole fender liner out. Well, I can at least fold this out the way. There we go. Ha ha. Perfect. Now we can see everything. Both of those, and that should just come straight down. Why is that not coming off? Hey, actually, something cool. The 18s don't have the tabs that I break. Say, I know they changed them. They don't have the tabs anymore that break. Instead, they got this bitch ass thing to hold it in. I was gonna say, I, I knew they were different than the 15s. Hell yeah, I already got this side out. That's way better, so it doesn't break anymore. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So on any, basically, uh, the S550s that are not the 18 and ups, the uh, the previous generation, um, these actually have tabs on the inside that are known for breaking off. So like, it is generally impossible for you to take off the front bumper of your Mustang without breaking the, the tabs that are on the corner right here. But I guess whenever they went to the 18s, they switched to like a clamp style bumper. So that way they stick something underneath and you bolt it down and it just sandwiches it in so that way it doesn't come out anymore so you don't have to worry about your bumper breaking that's yeah. pretty sweet now we're this far um i can go ahead and start unplugging some stuff that i can see which is just that one and i can get that off so now i'll go ahead and go underneath and uh get all the skid tray stuff off so we can yeah i'm pretty sure the whole thing <laughs> yeah i gotta go ahead and go underneath it so let's see what we gotta do here you can have this oh thank god yeah, I'll get more. Cause my knees are weak. So it looks like I'm just gonna take out everything. I do this for you, Morimoto. Okay. Oh, all right. So I'll make sure all those connectors are loose and we're good. Hell yeah, that was easy. This is a surprisingly heavy bumper. Wow. We'll just set this out of the way and we can go ahead and uh, swap the headlights. Hell yeah, boy. Right, and then we can put we can put your headlights in my car. These? Yeah. What's the difference between these and what you have in there now? Nothing. <laughs> so you think they're all 10s? It looked like there was a 12 somewhere too. There probably is. Like, it looks like this is a 12 here on the side. It's probably a 13. Probably. Why does this Mustang have so many weird ass fucking bolt sizes? So there's that. So now we got this one right here. <laughs> Think right. It's got this, it's got, yeah, you gotta wiggle it off that. It's clear down here. There we go. That's it. Here's $1,200 in headlights. <laughs> I know, dude. I'll, <laughs> I'll go ahead and get the other headlights. Oh my God. So many parts that I need to install, but not enough time to do it. Ah. That's a freaking great problem to have. It is a great problem, but like, ah. So now, have you seen these in person yet? No, I have not. Ooh. You're finna nut. I'll just, yeah, just throw all that down there. Oh yeah, boy. So here we go. Let's do a little comparison. We got the OEM headlights for the 18. And then we got the Morimoto headlights for the 18. What the frick is this? Straight from Retrofit Source. Ooh, damn. Saucy, dude. These are the old and new headlights. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, those are nasty. Okay, I'm gonna set this in place. You have all these different size bolts. Don't, don't blame me. You took this one out. That's Ford. So you stick that one right there. You got it? I can still plug it in. I don't know. Oh, I forgot you ripped literally the entire- <laughs> Yeah, I got the whole fender liner out <laughs> of the way. this back too. 
Wade's gonna plug that one back up and put that headlight back in. I'm gonna plug this in so that way we can do a comparison of the new Morimoto headlights to the old stock 18 headlights. I'm very interested to see how well these, uh, these look or how they turn out. Ooh. Are they on? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. Those look good. Wow. They look, they look sleek and like, they look like, like this. I know. With that long white, dude, those look good. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot. Ooh, dang. The more you look at them, the better it gets. Hang on, I just got keys in my pocket. I'll just unlock it. Ooh. Hell yeah. That looks angry. And it's still got the tri bar. That's yeah. one thing that's real good about the stock headlights is that they do have the tri bar. But then these, these have the tri bar plus some. Let's see what the projectors look like. God. <laughs> How's that? They're bright, they're bright. They're bright? They're bright. Well, the Morimoto headlights, so they should be bright. Let me get out of the way so I can see it better. I think it's brighter than your stock headlights. It probably is brighter. Yeah. These actually look fantastic. Morimoto, good job, you did it again. And also guys, don't forget that you can go to the retrofit source and use code Zorby and get free upgraded ground shipping. So your packages will get to you faster and safer to make sure that these nice expensive headlights don't get damaged. I know it's important that they don't get damaged, but let's go ahead and finish this install. Let's get the other side in. I might have to just fuck around and get some headlights. Hey man, all I'm saying is that you can go get these from the retrofit source and use code Zorby to get free ground shipping. <laughs> just saying. And they fit. It's like, I'm impressed with the OEM fitment too. That's a big deal with aftermarket headlights. A lot of times if you buy aftermarket headlights, you're not gonna get the same OEM fitment, but Morimoto is just 10 out of 10, man. 100%, nah, I mean, 10 out of 10, would buy again. And honestly, these are not as hard to install as I expected. I thought it would have been a lot trickier and a lot harder to do, but nope. Ooh, saucy. And that's gonna be pretty freaking sick, bruh. <sighs> Where my keys go? Let me see these things again. Uh, oh, that side's not plugged in. Ha! Ah, damn, freaking sick. That's Those how they look. Good. Hell yeah. Bam. Now we just need to get a. Uh, with a bummer on it. Yeah, now we need just some wheels and tires. I got a rear. I actually have a pretty cool rear diffuser that's gonna be going on this. So that's gonna go real well with the headlights, too. Ooh. Now for these, I am probably gonna take out these center pieces. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't like them. Those are those were some dirty girls for sure. I think Sarah. Sarah's probably back. Yo! Over here. Come check this out. You got him in? Yep, yeah, got him in. Take a gander. Ooh, ooh, ooh. is right. Ooh. But wait, wait till they light up. Ready? Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it too. Oh, you got canes? I got canes. All right, lunch break. We'll be back. <sighs> so I need this. Ow. So we good. God, mother fuck. What? I keep hitting the damn GoPro. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. I love the new design. And stick a nut on there so it don't come off again. These are fucking Ooh, God damn, these look good. Okay, I got one left I can't get in. Shit, these look way better now that the bumper's on. Yep, now we just gotta put the spinner liner back in. Which was uh, not that fun. <laughs> to fuck up like this. Let's see, now we just gotta put all these goddamn motherfucking push pins. Chair, thank you. We got two kinds of push pins. I don't know where the fuck they go. Shit, you gonna find out real quick when one of those fat ones won't fit in the fucking hole. Yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Fuck, I guess it just goes there. All right, fuck it, we got all of them back in. Cool. Yeah, now we can put the wheels on and we are um, fucking diddly. Damn, son, that shit looks sick with the bumper. It looks a lot different. Those look fucking good. That looks way different. That is like a whole different car now. Oh God, that looks way beefier. Like the stock ones look good, but those actually just look pissed off. Ooh, I dig that. See like if- It looks good. If the stock headlights had this, I would like them. I agree. I like the tri bar or whatever on the stock ones. I like more than just the little short ones. Mm -hmm. I like how they match the taillight design. 
have like the sharp edges, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I do like the thing around it more. Yeah. I'm going to get this wheel on and then we can really see how they look once we get it on the ground. Where, you, where the fuck you think you're going? Uh, -huh. hold your ass there. Stop. Stop. And we definitely need some aftermarket wheels because these bitches are heavy. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they, these are some very heavy wheels. Hell yeah, first mods in the new shop. Morimoto headlights. Ooh, I'm gonna wipe these down. Using that wax gods. Don't forget, you can use the code Zorby at checkout and get 15% off any wax gods products. They clean your car real good, know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Yeah, wiping these fingerprints off. Making sure my hat's straight. What a snack. Oh, fuck off. Actually, thanks. I'll take it as a compliment. These look good. I didn't expect them to be smoked. I will say that. So they're pretty dark. It goes along well with the black grill and everything else. But, see the cool part, whenever you turn the lights on, the running lights are sick. I love that. We can go ahead and turn the HIDs on. I've already leveled them, so both headlights are pointed at the same spot. And it's actually extremely simple to adjust as well, but ooh, look at that. It's amazing what headlights will do to a car. Yeah, you should definitely really get some of these. Those? I might have to invest. Put them on your car. I might have to invest. <laughs> of course. Of course I got this thing sounding great. New Daniel. What? <laughs> Look at these things. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. That looks way different than I was expecting. Those are way that is way style. different from outside. Holy shit. That's different. Yeah, compared to stock, that's definitely uh it's a very noticeable difference. God, I'm that's gonna be hard to get used to. I've seen pictures of these. I've also seen them outside of the box, not installed. I saw them on the car installed and on, but now that they're actually outside in daylight, it's like now it's it's actually settled in. These are different. <laughs> now you can really see how different these lights are. That is a complete transformation. That's pretty sick. I don't really know what to say. That's just fucking cool. And they fit great. Huge thanks to the Retrofit Source for sending over these Morimoto headlights. They look fucking sick. Now we just have to figure out what else to do to the car. Comment down below, let me know what you think of these headlights. I like them a lot. A lot of people didn't like the previous Morimoto headlights because they got rid of the tri bars in them, but in these they still have the tri bar design that comes originally on the Mustangs. And honestly, I dig it. Don't forget to use the code Zorby at checkout when shopping on the retrofit source you can get you some headlights like this or for your f-150 or for your f-350 or for your camaro i mean they got a lot of stuff for every car so definitely go check them out and that'll be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully this is some useful information i like these headlights a lot hopefully you do too all right i'll see you later